Good morning, lovely people. So, got up and went to the gym today. Super proud of myself. Hopefully, I go again tomorrow. But if I don't, I am still super proud of myself. Anyway, as I was working out, God brought to my attention that some of us are questioning God without seeking him. And by some of us, that's me. And, and questioning God doesn't mean you're like, God, why this, why that? You can look at your walk with him and see that you're questioning him. Like, how was your faith today? Like, are you believing God for something that, you know, you, well, you were believing him for something and it didn't happen. And now you're questioning whether or not he can do xyz or will he do xyz and we're just questioning him without seeking him the bible says if you ask you'll receive and i don't think that that's just when we ask him to do something for us right like god can you please do this can you help my finances right now can you heal me can you heal my my mom my dad you know and we expect him to do it because we asked. I don't think that's it. I don't think that's the only thing because he can do those things. <laughs> but it's when he doesn't do those specific things, we start questioning. Um, we start questioning God. I mean, and it's settled with me today that God's not mad that we question him or ask questions like god what's going on you didn't do this what's what happened i think he's sitting there looking at you when you question without seeking when you're not in your word when you're not quiet after the question to listen to him and let him minister to you let the holy spirit minister to you and give you those answers that you're asking Sometimes we get on God because the answer doesn't seem to align with the question. <laughs> but if you really let him cook, if you, if you really listen to what he says to you as you seek him, as you read the word and let, let the answer marinate. I promise you it'll it'll start making sense. I wish I can give an example. Hmm. Oh. Like I asked God to heal my mom. Point blank period. I went through a bone marrow transplant and gave my mom my bone marrow and it didn't take. She died. I said, God, I, I was asking you to heal her and do all of this. And I stood on business. I'm telling the doctors, like, you going to see a miracle with her. And it did not happen the way I asked God for it to happen. I wanted her to pull through. I wanted the bone marrow to take. I wanted her health to get better. It didn't happen. And I was just like, oh, well, that was God's decision. But all I kept hearing was that he got her. So I thought that that meant she was gonna be healed. So now I'm questioning, now my actions are questionable. I'm thinking, oh, well I was believing God and I still believe God, I don't hate God, I ain't mad at God. Yeah, my actions were saying I was mad. During that time when my mom passed in 2021 after that my actions were saying i was mad my actions were saying i was questioning without seeking child i feel i feel like up until today uh there was some questionable action <laughs> but i love god because he's gracious and merciful sorry i'm looking at this bag trying to open it because while i'm doing this while I'm talking to y'all, I still got to pick up poop. Ooh, that's a word. 
<laughs> Sometimes while you talking to God, you still got to deal with some poop. Some boo-boo. Y'all know the other word. And it's annoying and you think God isn't there, but he's there. Anyway, going back to my mom. Um, that thing hurt me. That thing. And then, then don't let people, other people get involved and you feel like they not showing up. Like, it's one thing for you to still love God, even though you feel like he didn't show up the way you wanted him to show up. But then the people in your life that you feel supposed to show up and they don't show up the way they're supposed to show up, baby bath. I was spent. I was just done. And my actions were questioning God without seeking him. And I was taking a hit in my faith. But again, the answer he gave me, if you recall, I said earlier, was that he had her. That meant that it was her time to go with him. That meant she'll never spend a day in hell. That meant that although she's not going to live from this surgery, from this, you know, disease, even though she's not going to live here on earth, she's going to live with me because I got her. <sighs> Baby back. <laughs> I just, I said, thank you, Jesus, because my mama specifically told me Make sure you don't be lying. When I pass away, don't don't be lying saying I went to church. And I was uh, one of them church ladies. I wasn't doing that. That's you. And I said that at her memorial. But God still let me know that he had her. That was the answer I got when I sought him. In the moment, like, what is this? What is this? So that has helped me grow. Sometimes we get the answers we don't want sometimes we get the answers that are just so hard sometimes we question without seeking so I hope out of this long video that you are encouraged to question God yes ask him you know what's going on why did this happen you know ask him in in different ways again it's not it's not always in the form of a regular question sometimes you're questioning in your actions but just make sure you are seeking god seeking his voice and allowing the holy spirit to comfort you and speak to you give you answers bring god's word back to your remembrance do what you have to do it's sometimes it's the fight of your life but just know that you are not the one wearing the boxing gloves god is fighting for you he's fighting for you and he wants us to communicate to him and he wants us to seek him and he wants us to ask questions he's a good father see good parent wants you to learn wants you to to know how to navigate through this life, through your journey. Your journey is not gonna look like everyone else's. But just know that God's hand is on you and he's holding you and he's with you and he won't ever leave you. And sometimes while you're walking with God, you might step in some doo-doo or you gotta pick up some doo-doo and deal with it. That's the lesson I learned from my dog, Cookie. Look at her. She's so cute. Anyway, I love y'all. I hope y'all are having an amazing Thursday. I don't know who of you have been going through it with me. But God was settling it in my spirit today. Like, yeah, you've been questioning, Keisha, but I need you to seek me more. So, yeah. This message was for me and y'all. Um, because sometimes it be your own self. It do. Anyway, I love y'all. God bless you. <laughs>